That's someone's sister. That's someone's daughter. Did you hear what happened to her? I heard she was really drunk. What was she wearing? I saw her that night. Her skirt was too tight. Honestly, she was asking for it. She shouldn't have gotten so drunk. She knew that she wanted it. She was flirting with him the whole night. My boy got laid last night. We tried to say you didn't want it. What man doesn't want it? Men can't be sexually assaulted. That's a joke. That's someone's brother. That's someone's son. If he didn't want it, he shouldn't have gone with her. How dare he act like he was sexually assaulted. What you just heard were rape myths and victim blaming. Sexual assault is never something that is asked for. No one dresses a certain way to be sexually assaulted. They aren't asking for it. No one is ever asking for it. No one drinks with the intent of being assaulted. Just because their body is responding to arousal doesn't mean they want to have sex. Our bodies often naturally respond. If your partner looks uncomfortable, is intoxicated, or is unconscious, you do not have to say. Men can be sexually assaulted. One in four women and one in 16 men will be sexually assaulted in college. And to be clear, none of them were asking for it. Sexual assault isn't about sex. It's about power. It's about manipulation. Sexual assault can truly affect someone's mental health and cause a lasting impact. By challenging rape myths and victim blaming, we can do our part to change the culture. By understanding what consent is, we can change these statistics. If you or a friend are struggling, there are resources to help. They're not just someone's daughter or someone's son. They're not just someone's sister or brother. They're someone. They're a survivor. survivor.